Everyone is talking about blockchain. It doesn't matter which industry you work for, all of them are trying to implement blockchain. Some of them are still doing POC and some of them are actually implementing it. In fact, last year when I was talking to some of the companies, they were doing POC and now they are implementing it. Look at the speed now. And that's why everyone wants to get into this technology world. Now, blockchain is a cutting edge technology which is changing a lot of stuff, right? It is replacing the old way of working and then implementing a new way. Now, there are three questions which we want to answer in this video. The first one is why blockchain? Why it is so famous? In fact, we already have a video on blockchain. What is blockchain? How it works? If you have not seen that video, check the description area. In this video, we'll talk about why it is so famous. Second question we want to answer is who can get into blockchain technology because some people feel they have to be into the technical field to get into blockchain. Let's see how that works. The third question is what are the prerequisites? Welcome back everyone. My name is Davin Reddy and let's get started. So the first question, why blockchain? Now, first of all, there are certain issues with the current technology which you're working with. Example, let's say the internet which we are using now, it's amazing technology, right? It has changed the way business work. It has created different types of domains of businesses, right? Think about Google, Facebook, Amazon, they are all running because of this feature of internet, right? Now, internet was meant to be open to everyone, but now the internet is actually controlled by a few companies. And we don't want that. We don't want to have central power because it is good as of now, but what about the future? The second issue is when you do online transaction, let's say bank transaction. So if you want to send money to someone, we need a bank in between. That's not an issue with me. That's fine. So if I want to transfer money to someone else and this bank says, hey, first you have to link it from my side. That's fine with me. But the amount of fees they are charging for each transaction transaction is something which I'm concerned about. Example, even if you do PayPal, they charge you around 4% per transaction. We don't want that, right? We don't want a central server. So that's one issue, right? We have money issue. The second one is the time. So even if I do international transaction, it does take some days or hours, right? We don't want to wait for such time. We want it to be fast, right? And that's why blockchain says, hey, you can use our way of doing it, which is decentralized applications. You can implement everything in a decentralized way. You don't want something in between. You don't want a central server. But then we have one issue here. We could have implemented decentralization way before, right? Because it's not a new term. It's a very old term. Initially, the problem was, even if you implement everything in a decentralized way, can you trust someone else? Example, let's say if I want to transfer money to someone else and if I've transferred it, what if someday that guy says, hey, you have not done that transaction? How can you trust other parties? And that's where blockchain also provide you trust, okay? Because everything you do online will be saved in one ledger. Again, we'll talk about that later in detail. So everything will be stored in one ledger and that ledger will be transparent so anyone can see the transactions. And that's where if you have a transparency, you can actually trust the system. The next thing is the moment we talk about that ledger, no one can change it. So the ledger which we create, okay, so a ledger is basically your database, okay? Imagine a big database. If you have a ledger there and if you are storing a lot of transactions, we don't want it to be changed, right? We want our transaction to be saved in the same way for a longer time and it should not be changed. So we want it to be immutable and blockchain does provide that. See how exactly all this thing works that we'll see later, but then it provides you a feature of decentralization, it provides you a feature of trust and then it provides you a feature of immutability. Okay, the next question would be, is it secure? Of course, the entire blockchain system works on cryptography. So yes, the base itself is safe, right? So you can trust blockchain that it is safe. So these are the reasons why blockchain is famous because it provides you all these features and it is amazing, okay? So every industry want to implement blockchain just because of these features. The second question is, who should get into blockchain? Do we need a technical background for that? Uh, not exactly. See, blockchain is very new in the industry, right? So yes, we need technical people who can actually work on blockchain, who can build the blockchain applications. We also need people who will act as an advisor. Now these people are more towards business. So they have a business mindset. They understand business. They understand how we can implement something for a particular application. If you understand how blockchain works, if you understand what are the use cases we can work on on blockchain, you can be an advisor. So yes, we have a blockchain developer who needs a technical skills. We also have a blockchain advisor where you can consult companies. And then we have blockchain experts who are more towards architect, right? Who can actually design everything from start to end. 
Uh, so yes, we have different options, but then if you don't have a technical knowledge, if you don't have a technical skills, example, if you are not good with programming, if you have not done networking before or not cryptography, that's fine. You can still understand blockchain and you can be an advisor. And the third question, which is very important, the prerequisites. What are the prerequisites for blockchain? The thing about this, it doesn't matter what of course you do. Example, if you want to get into machine learning, if you want to get into full stack development, we need to have some sort of prerequisites, right? Example, for machine learning, you should be good with maths and some other concepts. And on the, on the other hand, if you want to be into full stack, so you should be doing about designing and other stuff, right? And then how exactly server works and different stuff. What about blockchain? And yes, some courses do say you don't need certain knowledge to get into blockchain. And the answer is yes, you can directly learn blockchain from start. And we will try to do that in this course as well. We don't expect you to have any base knowledge to learn blockchain. But there's a twist here. The twist is blockchain will be easy or difficult for you to depend upon what you know already. Example, when I was learning blockchain for the first time, I was quite comfortable for several reasons. One, I loved this technology and when you love something, you feel comfortable. Second reason is the topic which is there in blockchain, example, cryptography, distributed computing. Because I used to take lectures on this, I have made some projects based on these applications. So I'm quite comfortable on cryptography. I'm quite comfortable on distributed computing. And that's where blockchain just clicked. And that's what I'm expecting from your side. If you know something from the base and it will be always helpful. So example, if you know cryptography and if I'm talking about some cryptography concepts there, you will feel comfortable. And that's why the prerequisites are cryptography and distributed computing. And yes, we have some more topics as well. Example, game theory. Yes, you can learn them by yourself. Just go to Google today and start learning about them. Start searching about cryptography. Start searching about distributed computing and also game theory. The good news for you is even before touching the blockchain technology, we will be focusing on this basic concepts. Okay, so the next video we are going to implement will be on the prerequisites. So if you don't know anything, that's fine. You can start from today or you can wait for the next video where we start with the actual prerequisites and then we will be touching blockchain. So I hope you are excited. So blockchain, anyone can learn it and it's a new technology, right? We don't have many people in the industry. It's booming like anything, right? As per research in next year, we will be having more vacancies for blockchain developer than any other field. So yes, it is booming. So you can be a part of it and we will learn blockchain together. So I hope you're excited. I'm excited. So meet you in the next video. Till then, do subscribe and keep sharing. Bye-bye.